Hi everyone, uh, out doing a bit more field testing with the Gemfan Flash uh, 6042 uh, two-bladed prop. I uh, had a bit of a senior moment obviously this morning. Uh, I pulled this motor out of my 2212 2200 uh, kV uh, bag of goodies. It uh, doesn't have a label on it and uh, after one flight I realized it's probably a 2212-2700 kV motor. Uh, so I don't have any test data on it whatsoever with this prop but uh, what the heck, let's give her a rip. <laughs> So right off the bat, I, 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 uh, on the first flight, I realized, hmm, that's going pretty fast at half throttle, and you know, really, really rips right out. Um, it, it's pretty cool day here today, about eight degrees. Nice. <laughs> you know, these motors, uh, these 2212 5T 2700 kV motors are. Our cheapest chips, as the saying goes, let's wind her out. And, uh, um, you know, I've, I've punished the living daylights out of some of them. Probably including this one, I think I might have actually uh, melted the label right off it, which is why it's not there anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that's some serious giddy up for a motor you can get for about five or six bucks. Uh, on 3S, uh, running the Turnigy Plush <laughs> 40 amp speed controller with uh, default settings, so the timing low, because I thought I was going to be testing the, uh, the 2212, uh, 2200. But I'm glad because I've tried uh, the higher timing settings with this particular motor in the past, and, and while it... Uh, you know, it provided better numbers on the bench. It um, it all it didn't perform too well in the air. Uh, you know, problems with desyncing and skipping. Golly, that thing rips. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Just insane. Uh, I'm really, really liking this Gemfan uh, Flash uh, 50 or 6042 by 2 prop. Uh, early days yet, but I'm thinking it's starting to become my favorite 6 inch 2 blade prop on 3S. <laughs> uh, I've run it, uh, tested it in the air now on uh, the GEP RC 2306. 2750 and uh, recently on the 2400 the racer star 2406 2600 and uh, it's on 3s has proven to be the, the best performing prop on those two motors in the air um, okay let's do one more nice okay we'll come in and land here uh, I did bench test it on the 2212-2200, so I'll have a link to my uh, spreadsheet below. You can go check those numbers out. I think it, when I when I finally figure out and put the right motor in the plane, <laughs> I will uh, I will field test it. Uh, I did bench test it on the Brother Hobby 2207.5 3400 kV, but wow, it sucked the amps uh, big time. You could almost hear the juice getting sucked out of the battery. So let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty toasty, uh, pretty toasty <laughs> motor. Uh, normally these uh, 2212 5T, I've, I've run them a lot with 6x4 props. Um, and you know, they, they get hot, uh, you know, and eventually wear out. But uh, you know, I've had uh, many, many flights on them. Let's see how our speed controller did. Again, I apologize. I didn't even bring my watt meter out this morning, so I can't even give you a, an idea what the watts are. But that that's okay. So yeah, so there's, uh, <laughs> I guess unbeknownst to me, due to my buffoonery, uh, that's a really hot uh, hot little combo. I mean, you know, hot, uh, the motor's running pretty warm, but, uh, you know, these motors, uh, as cheap as they are, uh, inexpensive as they are, they can take uh, a heck of a lot of punishment. So... 
yeah, so there we go. So uh, I guess now uh, my homework is to go home uh, over the next couple of days and actually bench test this motor and uh, uh, figure out, you know, the amps and all that sort of stuff. But uh, as you saw there in the air, she, uh, she really smokes along for, uh, you know, for a very inexpensive motor. Uh, and like I said, this is uh, turning out so far to be a really, really uh, good uh, six-inch uh, two-blade prop. Uh, so there we go, folks. Uh, thanks, thanks very much for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take